On this morning's Money Watch, taxpayers are leaving $1.3 billion in tax refunds on the table. And one cruise line says that it will require everyone on board to have a COVID vaccine. Jane King is live in New York with your Tuesday morning business report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Ted Margaret, and good morning to us. Norwegian announces that it will require COVID vaccines for all passengers and crew on the ships. Now, Norwegian says it will start sailing on July 4th with limited capacity at 60%, and then it will ramp up by 20% every 30 days. Well, more than 1.3 million Americans are owed a tax refund from the IRS for 2017. Now, they have to file a return quickly if they want that money. There's only a three-year window to claim claim refunds, and that closes May 17th. Now, you can find the instructions on filing a tax return for prior years on the IRS website. And gas prices reached a national average of two eighty seven a gallon. That is 94 cents higher than a year ago. That's according to AAA. It did note demand is one factor influencing prices at the pump. In fact, a gas buddy analyst says the economic recovery is the main reason for the increase that we're seeing in price. But he did point out to Fox Business that Biden administration policies like limiting permits for new drilling are contributing to the increase as well. Now, AAA says the current average in Greenville is 247 a gallon. Well, the Dow climbed 370 points to close at a record high. S&P 500 also closed at a record high yesterday on that strong March job growth. Today, it looks like we'll open just a little bit lower. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Yeah, Jane, and back with the cruise line, I've known a few folks who have been eager to get their vaccination because they simply want to travel again and seeing some of these uh, companies okay. having that requirement. Yeah. No, I totally get it. I mean, people want to get out and do things. And increasingly, we're hearing policies about what they're going to do about vaccines and testing and things like that. So we'll probably hear more about that in the next few months. All right, Jane, thanks so much. We'll be keeping in uh, contact with you.